Okay. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna check out those things now. But I think the new quest appeared here with Catherine. Has something to do with the new area. I just been avoiding the the op dialogue option over there because I wasn't sure what was this question was going to be. Mm. Hopefully, it's just some few short quests so we can go through all of them. But I wouldn't count on it, not after yesterday. Mm. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Why does Catherine look so stressed out? This adventure didn't pass the review either. I wonder what's wrong. Did someone not pass the guild review? Uh, Inus, I'm afraid that this isn't really a good affair, but a commission from the Fontaine Research Institute. I'm sure you've heard that the full name of the Fontaine Research Institute is Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. Before the explosion, it was the technological center of the entire Court of Fontaine. I think I've heard of it before. By my remembers, someone named Edwin made a mistake. And there was an explosion at the Fountain Research Institute, right? A uh, commission from a place that blew up once sounds dangerous. That is true. According to the Fountain Research Institute, the commission is rather difficult. And not just for anyone. Uh, so those who want to give it a try must go through the specified location to undergo a series of qualification reviews and they must prepare their own documents and certifications. Is a most that flying license acceptable? Is a arrest a run out run document? Uh, is that from Leo that he's saying or I actually got arrested here. I think it counts as an identification but may not be something you want to submit. Anyway, they have a list of documents that you must bring. The list includes your current and previous adventure handbooks. Uh, we had a previous one. Your commissions from the last 8 days, 80 days, and more. Some of them even require stamps from the Maison Gestion. And that's not all. Even if adventurers have all the documents and proofs ready, and arrive at the specified location to be reviewed, they will not be able to accept the commission if they fail just one item of the qualification review. If the adventurer is not willing to accept other work arrangements, then they will be rejected. So, uh, apparently they aren't in that much of a need for an adventurer. That sounds really strict. Yes, a lot of them went excitedly only to return angry. This commission has been, become so infamous that no one wants to be revealed anymore. I'm kind of interested. That sounds challenging. You want to be revealed? That, that would be a huge help. Don't get too excited. Thank you for lending the good your aid. Please wait here while I get all the required documents ready for you. Do you have a pen? Oh, don't worry. I'll go get a few bottles of ink. Mm, I feel like you should have a pen here. A few bottles, is one not enough? I can't say, but don't worry, I'm very familiar with these documents, so just follow my instructions. First, one proof of your adventure qualifications, one 30-day travel history, and one registration of past and current adventure handbook serial numbers. Would that be it? Uh, now for your commission history, income statement, commission evaluations, commission statistics, and average positive ratings. For your resume, fill in your actual residence, we don't have one, contact address, you, contact information, average contact, PIMO, your current name, names you've used in the past, 
and pseudonyms. I will use any pseudonyms in the game. And aliases that you use when you want to conceal your identity. Now you have to sign the good faith commitment, a notice of liability, notice of obligation, and a notice of exemptions of information released for legal, legal purposes. And this one looks great, give us another. <laughs> My writing hand is tired from just listening to the list of documents. Oh, that's a lot of documents. With Catherine's help, you start filling out the forms. Alternating between hesitance and doubt, you use a bottle after bottle of ink, but the stack of forms also gradually shrinks. As you finish the last form, both Catherine and you breathe a sigh of relief. Finally, so this commission is complete then. <laughs> it hasn't even started. Paimon didn't think this commission would be so troublesome, but if we don't go to the review, then we've wasted our time. Well, then we'll leave this commission to you. I haven't even passed the qualification review yet. You'll be fine, I believe. As the receptionist of the Adventures Guild, I know what you're capable of. If Fontaine Research Institute rejects you, then there's no one else in Fontaine who can take this commission. I'll mark the location on the map, go there and find someone named Desnos, who is stationed there and will guide you. Thank you again, you've done the guild a huge favor. Uh, if possible, I prefer to not have to stamp a single adventure qualification more. The way this is going, I'm going to wear the stamp out. Uh, so Catherine can get tired. Uh, where is it? What's in the market there? Uh, that one. Inch of oh yeah, there's that as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's see how long this takes, then I'll continue that one. Hey, the bot doesn't work today. Is it on here? Oh, I can get that afterwards. Oh. I will have order. I place better mark, but there seems to be nothing. There seems to be nothing. Settle down. There's no end to this stupid mecha. Oh, my lovely muscular legs are now full of these horrid welts and bruises. Uh, thank you, friend. If it weren't for you, I'd still be taking a beating from those mecha. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Desnos, a member of the. Whoa! Uh, Fountain Research Institute Qualifications Review Director, Representative of. Member of Fountain Research Institute, an uh, assistant researcher, or so I used to be. Now I'm responsible for receiving the adventurers who come here for recruitment and conducting preliminary qualification reviews. They are called preliminary qualification reviews, but it's more just me checking if they are carrying all the proper documents with them. So, tell me about the Institute's commission. Ah, you're here for the recruitment too. Sorry, please excuse my manners. Let's talk business then, shall we? Did you bring all the documents with you? If not, I can help you with the ones you're missing. Got them all right here. Good, let's see. One proof of dimension qualifications, one 30 day travel history. All nice and clear, they'll do just fine. Oh, I noticed you've only got one adventure handbook with you. I'm gonna need you to show me all the adventure handbooks you've uh, used and are currently using so I can take a photo of them. This is the only one I have. Well, you're quite the young and promising one then. Um, no matter, it's easier having everything in one book and way. Now for your commission. Income Statement, Commission Evaluation Info, Commission statis Statistics, 
uh, average positive ratings. Uh, you're very hardworking and you have quite the income too. Good faith commitment, a notice of liability, a notice of obligation, and a notice of exemptions on information release for legal purposes. The last one wasn't really that necessary, but oh well. Still, very good. Well done. All your document are, documents are here, thank heavens, you are the only candidate with the past two weeks, within the past two weeks, who actually prepared all the proper documents. But I haven't every candidate that came here passed through Catherine before. Now all you need to do is go to the Fountain Research Institute to undergo a final review. Up there. I was meant to be the one to take you there, but those stuff are mech injured my leg. It's okay, just tell us where it is and we'll head over there ourselves. Sounds good, I'll mark the location down on your map. Oh, and by the way, I suggest you head straight to the roof and talk to Mr. Nacker. The institute sent him to work in the area, you can talk with him. There are lots of clockwork mecha in the nearby wilds, so he's definitely going to need a formidable guard. Wait, we haven't passed our final review yet. Why are you assigning us work already? And there's no compensation either. No, no, just hear me out. Mr. Necker's a senior researcher at the Fountain Research Institute, who once even did research under Edwin. So he's got some sway in the Institute. If you were to get along well with him and incidentally demonstrate your capabilities to him to prove your worth, then you're gonna have much better chances at passing the review. Hmm. So, what you're saying is that we should help this Mr. Necker and thank him for the privilege where we're at it. Precisely. You can call him, you can tell him before arriving at the Fountain Research Institute for the final review, Mr. Desnos has first tasked me with being your guard and ensuring your safety. Anyway, I won't hold you up any longer, he should be on the roof. I've still got to ouch my leg, those stupid mecha. Okay, this feels long. Darn, who in the world designed this mecha here? Uh, why are we having the preliminary review here, by the way? Why not conduct a review at the Fountain Research Institute, you may? Uh, well, it's because of that huge explosion, of course. After the institute blew up, the roads that led here from the Cora Fontaine were cut off for the most part. Not to mention the area around the institute itself, they are a total mess. This is where Mr. Raimondo's project team was originally located, a place far enough from the center of the explosion not to be greatly impacted by it. You know, meaning lots of people who are still alive. You know what I mean, even though most of the Fountain Research Institute was destroyed, our offices must continue operating, otherwise who will rebuild it? That's why they had him go back urgently, uh, and also made the decision to seek assistance from adventurers. We are also following the Institute's orders, and are here to receive adventurers that come here to apply. Although many areas around the Institute have been cleaned up, and it's about time we return to our offices. Mr. Ch Choiso uh, has stated otherwise. There are many things to do and we should focus on the bigger picture. And stay where you are if possible. And just like that, our tiny office wound up staying right here. Uh, I seriously wonder why I'll be able to return to the institute. External reconstruction support, frequent asked questions, required documents and registration information for the temporary. Commission resume, income statement, okay, third day period, okay, in both, have the residence, it's held on. Statement of good faith. Uh, if the adventure has not brought complete documentation with them, the gaps should be plugged on the spot in a timely manner. Any applicants with a criminal record or who are suspects will be turned over to the authorities immediately. A criminal record doesn't mean I haven't served my time already. Resume. 
project's proposal to support the development of the research of research at the Fountain Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. It has been decided through internal discussions to initiate phase two expansion for the institute, with senior researcher Raimondo Havenport in charge of said project. After thorough investigation, argumentation, analysis, and research, it has been concluded that the eastern region of Lifei has favorable geograph geography, excellent transportation conditions, and faces no threats from wild monsters, making it a highly suitable location for the second fountain research institute. Lifei, check that on the map. The project is currently suspended because Raimondo Havenport has been transferred to the position of senior technician for the Fountain Research Institute of Nerida. Uh, during phase two of the Fountain Research Expansion Project, construction workers discovered an undocumented human excavated tunnel that led to the private lab of the senior researcher Braves. I remember the name, I don't remember where I saw it. The research facility was found undamaged. The Maison Gestion has been briefed, paying further action. <laughs> mm. Okay, I don't think there's much more here. I didn't just check that. Oh. Is that the tunnel that they found? Oh. Ah, okay. And where would that take me? Just back here. <laughs> mm, there's that as well. Okay. Ah, it's right here. I thought it was on another building. I thought it was somewhere else that I had to go to. To the roof. Oh. I said this many times, Miss Crony. Rebuilding the Fountain Research Institute is our only goal right now. I just said the same thing three times now. Uh, I know all too well that when you guys start repeating things like robots, there's definitely something big that you're trying to hide. Uh, think what you like. As for the numerous issues you mentioned earlier, I suggest you go talk to Mr. Raimondo. Uh, what is he going to tell uh, me all the things that the Fontaine Research Institute is hiding? No, but his ways of beating around the bush might be more sincere. <laughs> Yo. Uh, anyway, Miss Crony, I have my own business to attend to. The one next in line has been waiting for quite, some, for quite a while now. Hello, how can I help you? Are you Mr. Necker? Yes, I am. You introduce yourself to Necker and describe the final review situation. Paul mentioned in Desmond's remember what he has told you. Before formally arriving at Fountain Research Institute for a final, final review, Mr. Desmond has first tasked me with being your guard ensuring your safety. I see. Thank you for applying, Mr. Enos. I, and I suppose I must also thank Mr. Desmond's injured leg. Uh, the wilds around here do pose many dangers, and having an adventurer cap capable of passing the preliminary qualification review by my side would be a lot safer. I can act like I didn't hear that. What dangers are there exactly, if I may ask? According to the investigation, a lot of archaeum flew out of the institute when it exploded. Will the uncontrolled archaeum radiate energy? Will it contaminate the surrounding environment? Whoa, wouldn't this entire area be contaminated then? Suddenly feel so much short of breath. That's just your imagination at work. Uh, after leaving its catalytic environment, Archim immediately returns to an inert state. It won't radiate or contaminate anything. It is apparent that Miss Crony's way of phrasing her concerns brought you unnecessary misunderstandings. Mr. Enos, may I take another look at your documents. 
If you really wish to escort me, then we'll have to take something of a detour. I'm going to a few nearby places to review the technological assets of the institute and nab some documents along the way. Who is this lady next to you? Some reporter, that's all. Indeed, that is what I am. It's a great honor to meet you, Mr. Inus. I've heard your name from my colleagues many times before. I'm Crony, a journalist from the political affairs section of the Steambird. If you have time, could we arrange a time to have a chat? And of course, Miss Paimon is also welcome to join. I'm very interested in your adventures. Let me see, how does next Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday sound to you guys? Even this Saturday could work, we could go for a cup of coffee. Or how about right now, you guys stay here and chat and I'll go around my, about my work duties. That won't do. I've already reserved today's entire interview schedule for you. Sorry Mr. Ignus Paimon, we'll have to chat another time. That's okay, we've got work to do any today anyway. We need to escort Mr. Necker first. I must stress again that I'm just an ordinary researcher now, and I have no further information to give you. Plus, we've also got tedious and meaningless work ahead of us. Even if you go ahead and interview me, you won't get any useful information from it. That won't be a problem, Mr. Necker. Our work has its own unique value, and it's our job to uncover it. Don't worry about me. Suit yourself then, and uh, let's get going, Ingus. According to the schedule, there's a document we need to get at the Institute's executive office. Hopefully, Conchat wasn't called up for some other work. Okay, you know, that is over there. Yeah. How exactly are they supposed to get there without to glide <laughs> with me? Stabilize. Oh, I should have followed the road. Uh, um, yeah, but I explored a bit here already by myself. Uh, this, yeah, uh, this is it here. Hang on a second while I go find Miss Conchat. Oh, uh, what's that place? A building floating. In this in the air. The melusine and the bus told us already about it. Paimon gets it. This must be one of those magical I only want the second floor, just cut the first floor out buildings that you hear about in the stories. The Fountain Research Institute science is the finest in the world. Uh, was this caused by the accident? It really is. And what we're seeing now is the central laboratory of the Fountain Research Institute. Or should I say, what well, was once the central laboratory? Uh, Mr. Edwin Eastinghouse was once within, trying to develop a fuel generator using Archeon. Initial statements estimates uh, indicate that the device could lift an entire block of buildings. I guess that experiment didn't turn out so well. Of course, had Mr. Edwin now left two-thirds of the Fountain Research Institute in ashes, he would have been a shoe in for the post of the next director. And today, they have responsibilities that belong to the post of director, including a lifelong stipend in pri private dwelling, must be borne by the likes of Choso and Raimondo. Uh, Paimon wonders just what kind of people Raimondo and Choiso are. According to the evaluations of my peers, they are the type who can speak to you for an entire day without saying anything. 
I want to put that to the test. So it is exceedingly accurate to say that Mr. Choice's talents are irreplaceable. Uh, look, you know, the location of our, your final review is the former location of the Allen Guillotine Research Institute. Uh, and now the current residence of the institu institute. Before the incident, weekly lectures were held there regarding critical projects. Of course, the other administrative functions are always still in effect and can handle the final review. What's that plaza for? There are even seats around. Is it an amphitheater of some kind? Are we close to that? Aren't you far from that? Uh, I have heard colleagues the Asian at the Institute speak of this place. That is the sacred ground to Fontaines, the place where Fonta was born. Refreshing Fonta, a font of refreshment. Uh, that is the Fountain Research Institute Academic Assembly Hall and is dedicated to the purpose of displaying the fruits of our research, such as the compact, capable archives dancers, the gramophone, the thermic powered glider, among others. Previous analysis of the Institute assets showed that of the items I mentioned previously, Fountain may be the only significant achievement that remains legally profitable. I couldn't help but notice your wording contained a few baseless accusations. I'm glad you noticed. In that case, would you mind giving me your opinion of the ongoing criminal activity of selling off research material from within the Institute? Uh, it is absolutely vile, and those involved in, in the matter ought to be arrested in accordance with the law. Uh, well, then, out of those with access to the Institute's technical assets and the capacity to commit such a crime, who do you believe it was exactly? Could it be possible that it was... it was a criminal? And so let's keep moving. Uh, I need to go to a file storage room first and retrieve a survey anchor, uh, with which we can use to monitor the strength of the energy flows. It's not far, let's go. What about this woman we didn't even talk to? Weren't you here to meet her? This documentation needs to be filled and this one rewritten. Uh, there's just so much to do. Gather! Yeah, this clock work maker quite aggressive. Looks like Mr. Lens was quite thorough. There is not enough time to read. Necker, you finally come. We came across a little hiccup on the way. Never mind that. Have you retrieved the survey anchor yet? Uh, I was just about to bring that up to you, with you. I don't know if it was due to the explosion, but the supporting tools that were kept here are all damaged. You should know. If you don't use the proper tools to retrieve the anchors, you will be subject to being struck by high intensity arc and energy flows. Oh, intense energy flows from the Archeon. Got it. Uh, uh, I, what I just said was just... I didn't... Relax, sweetie. You are merely speaking the truth. It's not like you offended anyone. Oh, Miss Ch 
Chao Mets said it was indeed the truth. I hope that I can say the same for what you shall write. Oh, wherever, whenever the truth is placed right before me, I never pretend that it's not there. That would be a mistake. Is that so? Well, it takes only the slightest bit of effort to fixate on something, but it always takes more brain power to avert your gaze from it. It's clear they're not having an argument with each other, but why does Paimon still feel like the vibe is even scarier than if they were? Her think of something, almighty Paimon? Let's deal with the serpent anger first, shall we? Think of something. Why Paimon? Uh, how about we just get down to business? You're right, Miss Shalmet. Let's go examine the anchor. Okay, then. That said, uh, the areas where it's located is still blocked. I'll go ahead and open those ports and unblock it. And as I recall, you were an adventurer who came for the recruitment, yes? Well, when assisting our institute in its work, You'll sometimes be required to carry out certain precise operations. I'd like to see your practical capabilities first. Could you please go and help Miss Chalmette operate the energy transfer terminal to clear the area where the serving anchor is of, from, is of obstructions? Guess I could, so the review has already begun. You could say that. If you pass the final review, then we'll do a detailed comp competency assessment for you. After all, everybody excels at different things, and the work they can take on also differs. And so their compensation will differ as well. And I'm very blunt of you, but you're not wrong. Oh, then we got to show them your, our worth, Ignus. Just treat this as an early assessment. Miss Shalmet is over there, and she'll explain you how to operate the terminal. Please follow her instructions and unblock the area as soon as you can. I'll be watching you from the side. If I may, Mr. Necker, could you explain what would happen if someone were to be directly hit by intense energy flowing from Archeon? Coma, subcutaneous bleeding, vomiting, and so on. Would you like me to list them all one by one? And the serving anchors really are the dangers. Why would you place them in a room? You know, it feels like you are placing a cough maker. Uh, I've already repeatedly emphasized that as long as you follow operating procedures correctly, you should not be at any risk of direct contact with said energy flows. As for why they're locked up in a room, well, it's to prevent certain idiots from taking any anchors away without authorization, of course. They have no idea how they work and fig just figure that they might sell some shiny things for profit. We've hung up signs, distributed flyers, and even specially organized lectures to try to tell everyone that not only were they worthless, but they could also do you harm. However, the anchors continue to be stolen, Thus, we had no choice but to lock them up in a room. This is the truth. Are you happy now? Hello, Mr. Necker has already told me that you are here to learn how to operate the energy transfer terminal. Is that right? I've written the operating instructions down for you. Feel free to take a look at them. Uh, otherwise, it resembles a research terminal. You can access it. Okay, that's the same thing I've used a few times already. Good luck for your assessment. I'm gone. Oh, they're not. Okay, same. No text. Hmm. <laughs> Cipher letter 1. This is a test, test text for cipher letters. I haven't thought of any suitable scenarios where this tech can be applied, considering that the energy transfer terminals and their receiving terminals aren't widespread in Fontaine. The use of encrypted images will be limited to within the Fontaine Research Institute, 
Teohard just loves coming up with such useless inventions. I've already warned him not to vandalize the place. The encrypted images use a special paint that requires an equally special solvent to remove. The formula is the solve for the solvent needed to remove the encrypted message is recorded below. The text below has been removed. <laughs> Entering standby mode. I hope nobody disturbs me. Excellent work, the lock has been opened. Your abilities to quickly grasp the mechanics and execute are both outstanding. And your value far exceeds the vast majority of those who participate in experiments. I will truthfully report your performance as such. So, what's next? Oh, Miss Crony, what's gotten into you? Uh, I suddenly feel like I'm gonna throw up. Miss Cronin, please drink this medicine. Exposed serve anchors radiate with Archeon energy traces. And the place we are in now has also been affected somewhat. However, this energy level won't leave permanent adverse effects on the body. Just take this medicine and you'll be fine. We're just watching. Mm. Uh, it is terrible, forget it. I guess this is also a kind of first hand experience. And you know, these two bottles are for the two of you. Please drink them quickly. I'm feeling fine. I probably won't drink it. Thanks, but I'm not feeling any discomfort at all. I probably won't drink it. But Paimo isn't feeling any discomfort either. Plus, the medicine doesn't taste so good, right? Uh, so Paimo would rather not take it. Really? That's really quite interesting. And it is completely at odds with the results of the applications of Archeon Risk Report 3rd Edition. We all should have been affected by the same amount of Archeon energy. Uh, we are constantly journeying over mountains and seas. We are way stronger than the people you've got working here. Correction. You can now assume that all the Fontaine Research Institute staff are now working out in the open, uh, beneath the sun and stars. Your report might consider mentioning the difficult work conditions we are in the ring, Miss Crony. Uh, I've been wronged without having been notified in advance. The steamboat won't just let this go. Putting this all aside, you clearly have an extremely strong innate tolerance to the energy flow. If so, you are certainly the best candidate to assist the Institute, without question. Please approach the storage room and report any dizziness, nausea, Ishness or any other discomfort you feel during the process. Hold on there, are you using in as a guinea pig? Uh, to have those in Tivat? Without fulfilling your obligation to inform him of the risks first? He just did, didn't he? It is clearly stated in Institute Abbreviation Externally Contracted Employee Agreement Appendix C41 which he signed. Prior to being officially employed, the applicant shall be subject to a harmless Archeon energy flow tolerance test. And the institute has the right to terminate the contract based upon the results of said text. I hate reading text. Who the heck reads all that? You chose not to exercise your right to read the text, but each document was clearly marked. Please sign your name after carefully reading the document and making sure there are no mistakes. However, seeing as you seem completely unaffected by the energy flow, I believe you may be just the person we are looking for. In any case, let's get down to business. Take three steps towards the storage room, then hold still for 30 seconds. You follow a negative series of instructions, slowly approach. We've gone this far, but Paimo still doesn't feel anything. Do you feel any discomfort? Um, my head feels like it's gonna explode. Feel the same as always. My head. Uh, what's wrong? Are you alright? 
damage. Okay, okay, that was good acting. You nearly full Paimon there, Sheesh. but uh, that's a relief then. Paimon was worrying about how she'd carry you out of here if you were to suddenly pass out. Although we've come all this way, we can't see Necker or the others anymore, and it doesn't seem like we can hear them either. What do we do next? Paimon knows, maybe they'll chuck some sort of box in here to communicate with us through that. That would be quite handy. Do they even have technology that cool? Yeah, they have such technologies and they have cameras, video cameras. And they don't have an Oki talk or something like that. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, Paimo can't wait to see what kind of cool gadgets they might use to communicate with us. Enos, can you hear me? Oh, so they rely on the technology of shouting really loud. I can't hear you. No, shh. What are you doing? Stop joking around at a time like this. We can hear you. Do you guys feel any discomfort? Everything is good. That's great. Please continue uh, to the third anchor. You should be able to see now. Uh, those things on Dragon Spine. Once you retrieve it, it will temporarily fall into a dormant state and stop radiating energy. And then we'll be able to come in. Uh, be careful, if you feel uncomfortable, then we'll get out of here. Okay, let's check this stuff first. Just as I expected. This seems to be a reference book. Uh, what if we do it this way? This seems to be a reference book intended to impart practical techniques. The book lists a great number of issues that Fontanians are quite unlikely to encounter in their daily lives. It provides rig rigorously logical solutions to save problems. However, both the title page and the ending contain requests from the author for readers to not do such things in practice. Fantasy Institute. This seems to be a literal work of fiction. In this book, the entire Fontaine Research Institute was transported to a fantasy world, and many researchers go on adventures together in this other world. There is a note stuck at the end of the, of the text with the following comments written on it. Why do I still have to carry mechanisms and fight monsters even in another world? How is this any different from real life? Is this what counts for popular novels within institute cir circles? You might as well write one in which Mr. Edwin travels to another world with his archive. Please refrain from placing novels inside the materials office. Also, Mr. Edwin has stated that he has no interest in traveling to other worlds. What should I do? This appears to be a reference book meant to teach common knowledge to people who have yet to come of age. But why is it placed inside the Institute Materials Office? Oh, Fulton Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. Oh, that's where the buildings used to be before they float. Executive Office located at an intersection between the Life and Fountain Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering regions, primarily responsible for the Institute's various administrative tasks. Academic Assembly Hall, the venue for showcasing the products of the Institute's research to the public. The circular design of the Exhibition Hall allows it to accommodate a larger audience while providing a better view. Central Laboratory, located in the heart of Fountain Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering, it has the most advanced instruments in, the, in Fountain. Currently, the primary research undertaken there is related to the experimental field generator. The text that follows is too much to be discernible. In our own map. Oh. 
Oh, uh, nothing is here. Okay, so they were all around here. Hey, what's up? You know what was that I just got? The data has best gonna stay. <coughs> mm, well, let's continue. You actually managed to retrieve the survey anchor without any instruments, like it was nothing. That's amazing. The last time we needed at least three of us acting together to retrieve the anchor. Uh, I'm most certain that you are exactly the talent we've been looking for. With your help, our work is going to go much more smoothly. Alright, I'll keep it for now. Let's leave this place and report back to the Institute Postgate. Hang on, where's Miss Crony? Paimon doesn't see her anywhere. She was feeling nauseous, so she stayed up there to rest. But don't worry, she's already taking her medicine. She just needs a little time. Uh, Miss Crony, what are you doing here? A bunch of mecha monsters suddenly show up outside. They're on my heels, about to storm in. Well, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for that. Let me look out over there. with the force. Let the mighty be humble. Hmm. Bow your head. Hey, it's doing great. Uh, well, luckily, Inns was here. These were probably the clockwork mecha that the Institute used before to monitor energy flow, as they're equipped with Arcno Energy Flow monitoring devices. Although they're now out of control, they still automatically converge here upon detecting the energy flow from Arcno. Uh, Mr. Necker, should the Fountain Research Institute be held accountable for this out of control mecha in the wilds? I don't object to that at all. They should be held accountable. Oh, it would really have a way uh, to have those birds in the ground rise up and speak again. Also, I sincerely suggest that you stay here and rest, Miss Crony. Miss Choiso and Raimondo are at the Institute's new site, and they aren't going anywhere. Once you're feeling better, then you can go and interview them. Uh, yeah, you felt so, so sick that you could barely even stand. Don't push yourself too hard. Your health is essential. Uh, no, I can't. Interviewing Choso is the final step, not the beginning. Uh, that's why I'm following Mr. Necker around. Uh, I want to experience everything firsthand and get tangible evidence. I have to question Choso with evidence in hand. That way, he won't be able to beat around the bush like last time. Uh, and lo and behold, I've now personally experienced this so-called harmless Archeon energy flow, no? Once I get to the Fountain Research Institute, I'm definitely going to uncover all, all the hidden truths. Uh, I truly admire your professionalism, Miss Crony, but are you sure you'll be able to make the rest of the way there? Don't worry, I'll be right behind you guys. I'm a reporter after all. And you stay here. The backup medicine is also nearly finished. I'll go back and get more from the institutes later. Wait, do we even have any medicine left? Solidify! <laughs> right here, this is the Mary and Memorial Park. Let's see they are. This apartment doesn't look like a park at all. When the explosion happened, this place was hit with first shock waves. I missed some paper assets. There's never enough time to read it all. <laughs> There's a broken up the now, let them be. 
Miniaturized personal recording device, very absurd, not bad. Really, we have to see this, so I wanted something. Well, there's something else here. Oh, there. Financial reports from the Institute. We're looking here. Best thing they have with us. This is just little copies of Steambirds. Okay, back there. Hmm. Storage. Storage runs. Also, Institute property. Yes, so, but I need to remove them. I've never seen one. Playing down. All right, there seems to really be to really not be anything of value here. It's time to move on. A researcher who once worked together with Edwin Eastinghouse is now kicking storage grunts around in a junk heap. Meanwhile, the Fontaine Research Institute still complains about being short-handed. Uh, the way these researchers go about things is truly unfathomable. Everybody's worth uh, is reflected in different ways, and kicking storage drums is my way of doing so these days. But I heard that prior to Edwin's big screw up, you have quite some way in quite some sway in the institute. So I might even say that you were second only to Edwin himself. Uh, you were that powerful. Uh, that no longer means anything. Now I'm merely someone who was fortunate to survive this project. And one of the culprits who turned the central laboratory into what it is today. This is the only information I can offer you, Miss Crony. Well, I believe that was plenty. Let me write that down. Uh, where are my pen and notebook? My whole bag disappeared. I put it right next to a storage strange looking mecha just now. Where'd they go? You mean the one behind you? Hmm? Help. Order guide you. Let the magic be Silence! And shroud! I'll uproot you! Bow your head! Mega monsters. When they move, sometimes stop moving. And then when I could answer the question, it's now in suppose. That's how to install in this part space final qualification. I think I have that. Ah, new Fontaine Research Institute. I got that thing, but I didn't enter there. I didn't even notice that on the map. Oh, I'm inside. What? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I ever teleported here. I just passed in front and got that. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to everybody. Maybe I should just quit being a researcher. Gonna do these next <laughs> ah. <laughs> this mech is fine. Ah. What's your hood? So, Raimondo, nothing could go wrong here, right? And he's running according to the set orbit 
actual so round and round it goes without any errors error free everything might be but i'm just worried about getting dizzy mr choice of mr raimondo an actor it's great to see you have you taken care of those survey anchors i trust that you've done as you always have complete your test to perfection yeah, i have allow me to give you to a brief report. With Ignus' assistance, the anchor was successfully retrieved without any equipment. That's unbelievable. You were able to retrieve one without the use of any instruments. Goodness, thank heavens. The entire institute right now only has three complete sets of such equipment, and I was honestly worried as to how you might retrieve the anchors as soon as possible. Didn't really do anything special. It was nothing compared to other things I've been through. Is there any critical data in the anchor, Mr. Choiso? No, of course not. Some insignificant data, Miss Crony. I agree with you. After all, there's no way for insignificant data to regulate age with harmful archaeal energy flows, is there? Energy flow? I mean, of course, it's necessary. It must exist as a technological means of preserving the... What i really like to know is why the Fountain Research Institute would place the survey anchors to monitor the archaeal energy flow after the explosion. Certainly, obviously, the survey anchors are used for monitoring. This crony talks so fast like a dangerous mile on fire. Uh, upper flowers being fireballs, a dangerous mile on fire. Allow me to be more specific. Uh, how exactly is the Fountain Research Institute planning to deal with this explosion? Uh, yes, I was just about to answer that question. This was an excellent question to ask, as many people are concerned about it. Miss Crony, I am so delighted that you've come to visit again. I must stress on behalf of Miss Choso that the Institute has never changed its solution to the explosion. Once we have recovered all the retrievable research assets at this old site, we will demolish the old central laboratory and do our best to restore the area's natural environment to its original state. By the central laboratory, you mean the building floating in the sky? How are you going to demolish a building like that? Shoot it down with a cannon? Blow it up just like before? <laughs> of course, we shouldn't be using such crude and simple solutions. This demolition will utilize our newly researched experimental fuel generator. This device can deactivate the gravity altering field that surrounds the institute ruins and land them on the ground safely. But wasn't this device also within said ruins? And wasn't it also a work of Edwin Isinghaus that used Archeum as its energy source? So, based on what you're saying, the Fountain Research Institute is still unwilling to give up this harmless archive project, yes? I think they're not giving it up so easily. You've been keeping up with what she's saying? Nope, I just repeated her last sentence. Hey, have you been doing this to pretend that you understand what's going on? Anyways, the Fountain Research Institute is still trying to do dangerous stuff in dangerous ways, right? A great summary, Miss Paimon. If we are discussing uncontrolled risks, well, even walking on a road may be dangerous. Also, you should note that the energy source we are using is the completely new and stable three state archeon. Uh, how does that differ from normal archeon? Does the new word in front of it mean anything? This, to me, seems like a purely rhetorical maneuver. I'm sure Miss Choso would be happy to have an in-depth conversation with you about grammar, but I've left Mr. Necker hanging for too long, and really that's just impolite. Mr. Necker, I trust that you have done everything that I've asked. Uh, with Ignis' help, uh, everything couldn't have gone any better. Hmm, is this an adventurer who came for recruitment? Necker recounts to Raimondo everything that happened, emphasizing the amazing talent he displayed when retrieving the survey anchor. The, he also briefly 
touch on Crony's ironclad professionalism as well as the severe vomiting reaction she had. From the joking look on Necker's face, there seems to be no ill intent in this jest about the committed report. Or so you assume. This is rare, extremely rare. I'm delighted that you are applying for work at the Institute of Ignus. After hundreds of years of bad luck, we're finally catching a break. Why hundreds of years of bad luck? I'm confident that you'll be of great help to us. Here are the documents assigned. Ah, leave them over there, don't worry about them. Uh, aren't you going to take a look at them? We spent ages on them and Mr. Desnos also took them very ser seriously. And these documents definitely have their uses. They certainly help us weed idiots out, at least. As for you, however, I believe that your good qualities go far beyond what they can summarize. So let's leave them alone for now. So are you saying we pass the review? Without a doubt, yes. I will personally prepare the contract and notice that you need to sign for follow-up work. Until then, Mr. Necker? Yes. Well, Miss Crony appears to be having a discussion about energy safety with Mr. Choiso. How about you take Inus to retrieve the last two survey anchors? The energy flow control operations are nearing completion, and all that's left is the data comp compilation. Oh well, at least everything is under control. Are you guys heading somewhere else? I'll come along too. This reporter lady sure has pretty good ears. Choso. Uh, what should we do, Raimondo? Do you think we can convince this journalist? Trade State Archeon. I always felt that the name would bring us trouble. Choso, do you think that the name is not up to current grammatical standards and that people will criticize us for being superficial? No, Trade State Archeon may be different from Archeon in name, but it looks exactly the same no matter how one looks at it. This is not a problem, it is as its internal structure is indeed different. The difference between it and Archeon is like good guys and bad guys. They are both people, but they are very different in society. Ah, Raimondo, people never bother to tell good guys from bad guys, much less nature of a piece of rock. They'll just say, hey, this rock looks like Archeon and it works like Archeon, so why isn't it called Archeon? Relax, Cho, so I'll, I've already prepared the explanation script. Keep listening. See, the energy source that drives the experimental field generator is not Archeon, but a new one called Tri-State Archeon. The sample for R is an inert variant of Archeon that was created through the special transformation process. After entering an, the all-new silent excitement state, it is much more stable than the original's excited state. This one though, though still just said that we are doing some kind of rhetorical trick. This rhetoric is also based on strict academic classification. On it all, you will witness its excellence after this display. Uh, but this certainly won't be able to satisfy the group of reporters. They can never be satisfied, Mr. Choiso. All we need to do is put put on a display. That's all. Okay, let me just grab that. Dormitories. Where are them? Okay. We'll fight that. New boss? I think I haven't fought that yet. Uh... It's over there, right? Work mecha here too. Stabilize. <laughs> Can't see the tides beckon. Hmm. One with the force. Ta. Ta. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Settle down. Be sanctified. Gather. Oh. Bow your head. <laughs> 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 
can't see. Silence. There should be a survey anchor here too. I'll open the door and leave the recovery to you. Hmm. I believe this place was originally Butter's Institute of Clockwork Applications. In the field of clockwork machines, Monsieur Butter was one of the leading authorities. However, scientifically, the development and advancement of traditional clockwork machines had reached a bottleneck. Uh, in terms of application, traditional clockwork machines were obviously at a great disadvantage. Anyway, Monsieur Butler's program was slowly being marginalized at the Institute, his funding was, was cut, and he struggled to recruit researchers. After a series of unfortunate incidents, Monsieur Butler's group finally disbanded, and this facility was completely abandoned. Uh, Monsieur Butler was terribly unlucky, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, I still can't forget how I chose to just kept equivocating. And that Raimondo, so healthy and arrogant, did you see how he was looking at me? I think you are much better than either of those two. Things would have never turned out like that if you were in their position. Solidify! One with the force! I'll approve you! You guys are fine. One man's stone is another man's gem. Hmm. Gather! I will have order! Cue the spotlight! Settle down! And shroud! Can't see. Keep up. Mm, I think we can forego the lost and found. Ah, oh, we're back there now. Oh, well, since I'm here, I'm gonna fight it. I haven't yet. And there's a thing here, isn't it? Ah, no, it's the thing down there. Oh. So, what's up with that? Because I have avoided that for a while. Solidify! Order guide you! One with the forest! Okay, doesn't doesn't do. Stabilize. Oh, that's nice. 
And shroud. Silence. Be sanctified. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Gather. One with the force. Bow your head. That doesn't look good. I will have order. Those waves don't do anything. Solidified. <laughs> Can't see. Settle down. one of those um, mini bosses from all over Fontaine. Uh, and what about here? Frozen. I'll put you on your boss. Gather! 
Uh, you guys will probably get in the way. Uh, is this where I research has been their downtime? Is this even humane? Has the fountain research history ever considered making renovating this place a priority? There should be a survey anchor here, just like Miss Crony implies. This place in needs just uh, implying this place needs renovation, and the power supply here is very limited. Or perhaps I should say there's a complete shortage. While I'm answering Miss Crony's questions, I'll leave the job of covering this survey anchor for to you. Compared to some other areas, the dormitories weren't impacted as much by the explosion. Dormitories, but I don't see even one bed here. So how do the researchers get any rest? It's not like they can sleep in chairs, right? Miss Crony, your idea of resting is very different from that of the researchers. When a researcher at the Fountain Research Institute says they need rest, they only want a quick break from, for their brain. Then they would usually come here, play piano, read, uh, have a drink or two if necessary. Um, but wouldn't sleep provide more rest for the brain? You may be correct, but to our researchers, sleeping is a waste of time in the first place. Sleeping is a waste of time? No, it is essential for rest. Sleeping completely cuts your train of thoughts uh, uh, short, and that's just not acceptable for our research work. Keep listening. Are you being serious? If you don't sleep, the only thing you cut short is your life. Not necessarily. The Institute boasts an excellent health care system that guarantees researchers' health and well being. But that's the only reason not to sleep. Also, if researchers are here to give their brains a break, wouldn't that break their thought process from research anyway? Not necessarily. It only seems like they're taking a break when actually they are still pondering different academic subjects subconsciously. It's akin to a vast ocean that, while appearing calm on the surface, still has a strong undercurrent beneath. Sometimes the undercurrents below are much stronger than the towering waves above. I get it. You mean when researchers of Fountain Research Institute are on the, a project? They must keep working and are not allowed to rest, right? That is not completely fair to say. If they truly need sleep, they are free to go back home and do just that. So it is fair to say that as long as the researcher of Fontaine Research Institute are inside the institute, they must keep working and are not allowed to rest. The rhetoric is simply astound, Miss Crony. Uh, where's the thing? Read. Big experimental report. Oh, damn it. Experiment day. The lab equipment that was ordered hasn't arrived yet. No choice. All I can do is force myself to go to Hotel de Board with Mr. Poitier. Mr. Poitier recommended the seasonal poisson oyster with sal salacian caviar and a fine chardon. The poisson oysters were unquestionably the best, full body texture, plump, soft and juicy, flavor lingering on the tip of the tongue like a gentle sea breeze. However, the way Mr. Poitier ate them, it could be said to seem a bit inelegant, as the juice accidentally squirted all over the napkin. Such lack of etiquette would definitely be left by, at by others. Anyway, I lectured him about it. Now, if only he could take this to heart. After all, etiquette is like food. Inferior ingredients can certainly be compensated through superior culinary techniques, so there shouldn't be any need to discriminate in terms of the quality of ingredients. But even so, people will always prefer premium food with premium ingredients. Experiment day, the library equipment order before 
he still hasn't arrived. No choice, what I can do is force myself to watch an opera with Mr. Poitier. The refreshments were as tasty as ever, but the play was only passable at best. As far as tragedies go, the farewell scene between Erinus and Egeria, at least, succeeded in squeezing a few tears out of some members of the audience, such as Miss Portier, though as it was expected given his tastes, not laughter. Uh, there's nothing innately wrong with them to show the plot unfolding from the perspective of multiple characters, but if it cannot be tied back together and the theme properly expressed, and instead completely relies on sensationalism, the sensationalizing the climax to cover up all the flaws, then it is absolutely a uh, misguided approach. Take for example the adaptation, <laughs> the adaptation of the famous. Lock Knight Tale titled Mounted Python and the Pure Grail. The comedy I previously attended with Mr. Poitier, see the lab report page 17. It was a superior production in every way, as the great master Al Alcofribus said, it is better to pain laughter than tragedy, for laughter gives strength and fortifies the will, not to mention how mortifying Mr. Poitier bowling was. Mm, okay, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a reference to another movie as well. Uh, experiment day, the lab equipment previously ordered still hasn't arrived. It appears it might have gotten lost in transit. Can do anything but force myself to reorder the equipment and then go for a cafe to Cafe Lucerne with Mr. Pointer once more. search notes. I want to take a nap, but I've got to go to a project meeting later, so I can't sleep. No falling asleep. How I wish a research project leader would stop burying during lunch to, to talk about work. Uh, you could cut the air with a knife. The free coffee at the institute is getting worse. It tastes like sawdust soaked in water. I might as well drink fountain. Alas, I do not know when I can be transferred to another group. I really don't want to continue research on this smart light director, detector of Professor Mosos anymore. With all resources inherited from him, we're like chefs working at a crafting bench. This just isn't working out. I've heard that the Institute has commissioned some adventurers to search for his base. If it was me, they could just restart the project then, right? It's not like numbers are going to help us catch up with him if we're, we've got to force the research through while having no material to work with. Ah, there's one there. Uh, hang on, I'm grabbing that, but I... Ah, uh, here. <laughs> oh, but hang on, let's, let's use that as well. Oh, but this one doesn't go anywhere. It almost gets there, but it doesn't... Okay. Ah, okay. what you wish to find. Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Go on. What was Paimon saying? I'm curious an adventure spawn to the recruitment and get scanned survey. Of course, there are quite few survey. The test as part of the 
review after initial phase qualification they will try to make contact survey they they consume a lot of our antimedics okay i want this one four Tell hard scribed cipher letters all over the place. Why am I not surprised? He even raised the formula for the profile. Water comes solvent. in many flavors to the discerning palate. Mondstadt's water is crisp and pure, while water from Liyue has an enduring aftertaste. In Inazuma, the water possesses a depth of flavor unlike any other. Sumeru's water, meanwhile, has a rich and complex flavor profile. But it must be savored patiently to fully appreciate it. Okay. Uh, he even raised the formula of the purifying solving buzzer left behind. Thanks to him, all our, of our project's funding requests have been rejected. I guess it's time to kiss my bright future goodbye. Not only is there no place for traditional clockwork mecha research in Fountain Research Institute, there's no place for me as well. I probably should try to secure a job at the Fortress of Meropid. I'm sure they need engineers there. I'm just kidding, there's no way I'm going there. I heard there aren't even windows there. I decided to do something out of the goodness of my heart. Although Butter is no longer here, I've recreated the formula for the purifying solvent based on information he left behind. I'll record the formula here so anyone who sees this is able to use it to create the solvent and erase the nonsense that they hard wrote. The formula is as follows. The text below has been removed. Okay, we... Oh, we got that. We just travel back. Okay, when we're done, that's it for the quest. Let's say it is. Mr. Raimondo, the survey anchors have all been retrieved. Looks like we've really got the right person for the job this time. Put them over here. Someone will come and handle them. Um, now, let us get down to business. Come over here, please, Ignus. There are some documents you need to sign. And they're so thick, why are there so many documents? Because no matter how one looks at it, Scorting a researcher into the ruins of the Fountain Research Institute and then landing said ruins shall be no small matter. And since it is such an important matter, it is only natural for us to explain every detail to the one carrying out the work. Who am I scorting? Uh, why, that'd be Mr. Necker, of course, across the entire institute. There is no one better suited than him to deal with the central laboratory ruins. I request that I accompany Mr. Necker. Uh, what? I think... This is a terrific proposal. Which also didn't forget what we mentioned when we came up with the plan. We must keep the public informed about the rebuilding of the Institute with the utmost transparency. And that's right, the new Fountain Research Institute has nothing to hide. Edwin made some mistakes, but we're past that now. Please go write a re uh, report on it. Go to the ruins of the institute and see the mistakes Edwin Essinghaus made. Looking back again, the institute now is just what we've been working toward. The cause we stand for. But allow me to emphasize once again that... And here we go again, but I was about to fall asleep. I truly admire how much this guy has to say. Maybe you should call me after you're done talking. Not to mention how every sentence seems to magically make people fall asleep. Paimon is already feeling sleepy just from half the sentence. No, no, it's important business. Oh, please, come this way. Under Raimondo's guidance, you sign many complicated documents. Thanks to your prior experience, you finish signing them before you know it's it, 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 it is time. Mm. Although, that should be all of them. Alright. That should be all of them. Thank you, Venus. And we are now an ex externally contracted assistant researcher for the Fountain Research Institute. Is that a title? What about Paimon? Does Paimon get any title? You are my important assistant, Paimon. Assistant? 
and that just doesn't sound cool. And don't worry, assistants play an absolutely critical role within the institute. But let us get back to business, shall we? Things right now in the institute are rather complicated. The matters you'll be dealing with are also urgent, so I won't keep you much longer. While you're on the way, Mr. Neck will inform you of some things to note, as well as what you will actually need to do. The rest is up to you now. A lot of a lot rests on your shoulders, Mr. Necker. Well then, please follow me, Ignus. We must get to the ruins. Sure thing. Don't forget me. Yes, yeah, seeing you. How could I possibly forget you? Raimondo, during our last meeting, did I really mention that we just that we must keep the public informed about the rebuilding? Of the institute with the utmost transparency. I really don't remember that. Perhaps I should check for it in the meeting notes. Could you tell me what page it was exactly? If by checking for it in the meeting notes you mean you wish to see this point made clear in clear writing, then I must say that it won't happen, as such point cannot be surmised into a single sentence. This point was made based on the overall essence of the, the meeting, which was to first address morality and human relations and the sum total of social norms. Lastly, this concept, when extracted from countless specific words and actions, is so broad and generic that anyone can see and comprehend its abstract concept. So what I was saying is, I didn't say that. Uh, correct. Okay, now that bridge over there. Okay, they don't went all the way there yet. Okay, I haven't been here yet. Among Inus, Miss Crony, this way. So I mean we're going to delve into this this uh, patch of water. That's right. With the help of this allographic condensed water, we can ascend the ruins of the institute safely and efficiently. If you don't wish to do it that way, you may also go the opposite bank and glide from the highest mountain using a wind glider. Forget it, I'm not that good at using a wing glider, and I'm not really used to heights either. Very well, now I'll go over a few things to keep in mind when it comes to allographic condensed water. Take care details considerations when making use of said allographic condensed water. So in a nutshell, it's the same as when swimming or diving. I feel like this more than flying or diving. I mean, media would be quite a novelty. I suppose you could call it anti gravity diving if you had to. Uh, is everyone ready, Miss Crony? You, you can still back out if you like and simply wait here for us to return. Reporters never back down. I'll be right behind you guys. I'll try to, anyway. Alright then, if you insist, let's get going now. No, I'm not gonna do those challenges now. <laughs> mm, 
nothing. One with the forest. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Mm, there's another one there. Oh. So there's another one here. Uh, this was this large plate. That's the experimental field generator that Mr. Edwin developed. Uh, didn't it already blow up? It looks perfectly fine now. The thing that exploded wasn't this machine, but the Archeon R that powers its car driver. The Archeon that car. This thing uh, will it suddenly start moving by itself? It is moving by itself. Relax, this big guy can move now that it's lost its power supply. But didn't Raymondo say that we needed to use it to make the ruins descend? If it can move, only a part of it will be activated. The Tri-State Archeon can only support its operation at half speed. But that should be enough to relieve the abnormal gravity state the central laboratory ruins are in. Uh, Pavan doesn't understand that at all. What do you need us to do? Please follow me. The place where we will need to work is in the back. Miss Crony, please stay here. Is it safe? Some areas in the back contain in-situt uh, in secrets. And you're not allowed to have any exposure to them. Uh, I can see that back of yours from here. What secrets could be hidden inside? I have no idea either. That's why you're definitely not allowed inside. What nonsense. Anyway, please wait here. If you take photos randomly, you might capture something related to Institute secrets. For example, the uh, formula for the sugar-free berry flavor font. This new font of product seem, is quite important to the Institute. If you leak any information of it to the outside world, you need to undergo a one month confidential investigation and must report to the Maison Gaston at the Palace Mermonia three times every day and be questioned. Of course, you need to stop your journalistic work. Uh, don't worry, if I get taken away by the Palace Mermonia for questioning, it will only be because I've uncovered the secret you're hiding. I won't let myself be forced to stop working for a reason as absurd as leaking some font of formula. I admire your work ethic. I hope and if everything goes well with your photo taken. Let's go. There's still work for us too. Uh, 
Uh, what was Necker doing? I don't remember if there was one of those in one of the events. Or maybe it was on the... Ah, oh, this is active already. Yeah, it's like the one down there at the fortress on Mirror Pit. I didn't really activate that. Uh, yeah, I think there was one that inside the abyss that I fought. But I don't quite remember what I had to do. Solidify. I was mainly just using the whole problem. Can't see. Settle down. The tides beckon. Sometimes I really don't get why the institute had to design the support clockwork mecha to look like humans. Just from the perspective of supporting research, hands and feet are far worse than tracking a multifunctional clockwork mecha apertures. What's this rock? Oh, this is the archon that supplies energy to the experimental field generator. The, what restrains it is the energy supply device created by Mr. Edwin. See this here? The circle is connected to the generator. Uh, of all the energy archon we found, this was the best in terms of purity and stability. And then boom, it went. That came down to Mr. Edwin. I trust that this was the cause, or at least he shouldn't take out the blame. Well, it's not going to blow up again, is it? When that happens, I'm going to need you to take us into the sky, Spymo. When that happens, let's jump into the water below. Spymo takes us to the sky. Spymo doesn't have super strength, but if it really does blow up, then Spymo could give it a shot. And don't worry, now that Mr. Edwin is not around, we're completely safe. Alright, I'm about to use Raimondo's Catalyst to transform this Archeon into Tri-State Archeon and activate the big fellow outside. Should she be there? Then this ring should be able to safely land on the ground. Inus, could you please help me take some photos in the area? I need to use them as evidence for my work record. Then you just said take photos wasn't allowed? It's fine, this will be used for reference in the institute and won't be distributed. Unless you secretly keep a feel for yourself, which I trust you won't do. Alright. When you're taking photos, please look for Miss Cranny while doing so. I've got no idea where she's run off to or where she's hiding. I really don't want to start the generator only to suddenly find a lady tossed me into media. That's neat. Hmm. Readings are normal, looks like everything's fine, and we shouldn't come across any hiccups. Anus, once you're done taking photos, please go find Miss Crony. I'll come find you guys when I finish making adjustments here. Smells like something good is inside. <laughs> How suspicious. What's suspicious? Show me two. Hi, Miss Crony. Oh, you just gave me a fright. How are you able to walk around without making no any noise? You were just too focused. Speaking of which, of it, you follow us all the way here. Have you managed to find anything? Not really. Since Miss Necker said all that, I don't really want to get in trouble. In the end, all I could take pictures of were these dilapidated houses, broken rocks, and a motionless machine. I bet I wouldn't be able to take photos of a big scoop if I could fly in the air just like you can, Paimo. Might be a reporter if you can fly. I was born to do this, it's the reason I exist. 
I too am very sure of that, Miss Crony. Well, you're also able to walk without making a noise. Is this a new technology the Institute developed? Unfortunately, we don't teach walking courses. Uh, I have already completed all the preparations in any case. Ignos, please take Miss Crony back to the Institute. Once the experimental field generator is activated, it will rapidly change the gravity in the surrounding area. I've been through professional training and I know what to do in this situation. For your safety, it would be best if you stay away from here. And how are you going to get down? You don't need to worry about me. Mr. Edwin taught me how to use the generator personally. No one in the Institute can control this big guy as freely as I can. Not even Raimondo. Uh, guess you'll have to leave it to a professional then. Be careful. Go on, we'll meet again on the surface. Yeah, but this just can't work. We'll lose those floating platforms. This should be fine now. Uh, please take Miss Crony with you and go down quickly. I'll be activating this big guy in a moment. Then this trouble some matter will be resolved once and for all. Wasn't that text somewhere saying that they wanted this to be a tourist attraction to get money for the institute? Uh, back there. You notice you're back. How's the work coming along? Everything is going swimmingly. There are still some finishing touches that ought to be left to professionals, so Mr. Necker is still up there. Uh, I feel like I haven't really contributed that much. I don't say that. Your safety rope. Without you, dear Ignos, how could we have dared let Mr. Necker go up there by himself? It could be said that the trip was a brilliant success. There were other benefits as well. Miss Cronius managed to photograph some thought-provoking images that she would like to ask me about, and a few of those pictures should prove even more interesting for Mr. Necker. Let's not talk about that for now. Come, let us take a photo together. Monsieur Choso, We'll also need up to present you with a certificate as an, in an honorary title. Honorary title? Oh, what about Paimo? Paimo will also get a promotion from a system, right? Mm, seeing as you're in his companion, then I guess you could join in on the photo. As for the title... So there's no honorary title for Paimo. Honorary titles must remain limited in quantity and stay relatively rare. Otherwise, how... Would you get sponsors to support through awarding them? Uh, Alright then, then allow me to award Paimon. Honor title of best companion. Honor title of best travel guide. A super awesome title. We will come up with something different. Hey, just what kind of nonsense titles are those? Uh, we're already best buddies. Paimon doesn't need a title for that. You better make it you know, really awesome. Uh, of course, this honor title is of the highest standing. Besides having to also been promoted to assistant to the honor senior researcher. Come on, uh, let's get a photo taken. Assistant is still an assistant, no matter how many words you put after it. All right, let's take a photo. This is an occasion to remember. Once you trust her, you are. Oh, it's like having a nice conversation with Miss Crony. Hence, this operation is a stepping stone to rebuilding the Institute. We can do it, and it is our duty to do so, as it has always been. As for the former side of the Institute, we will keep it preserved forever and rebuild it as a Fountain Research Institute Safety Education Center. I think we just had. We just about had enough. I'm certain that everybody has benefited from your speech, Monsieur Chosu. 
But now's the time to take a photo together with Amos, wouldn't you say? Of course, we must take a photo to mark this occasion with our dear honorary senior researcher of the Fontaine Research Institute. Uh, aren't you here too shortly to be senior? Please give us a second, Miss Crony. This shouldn't take too long. Oh, don't worry. It's not like the things you said just now weren't all cliches anyway. Weren't you guys going to take a photo together? I just so happen to have a camera with me. Please go and stay in position. I travel a long way to get here, so please at least m make it worth the trip, okay? Oh. Oh. Is he okay? Uh, was there an explosion just now? What else could it have been? Just taking a photo together, is such ceremonious greetings necessary? I don't believe there was an explosion, all things considered, uh, it was probably a controllable... It was an explosion, Paimon was nearly blown away just now, if not, what else could it have been? Miss Chorso, could you please explain this to us? Was this something that you had anticipated? I must say, you asked a very good question, very excellent one, as many people were wondering the same thing. The color of those bodies of water, could it, have, could it be that the condenser components are already in... Wait, Necker hasn't come down yet. You're right, he hasn't returned. Let's not delay, Inus, we need to go now. Wait, I want to go too, the truth behind this explosion. Please, do not act rashly, Miss Reporter. If you dip one of your toes into that water, you'll be saying goodbye to this world within a minute. Don't scare me. Would you please just stay here? Inus, according to your previous experience, the energy flow that remains in those these bodies of water shouldn't affect you too much. Please get to the ruins as quickly as you can, and I'll find my own way up. up. I'll... And I'll meet you there, your own way. You have planes now, Chop choppers. I have my ways. After the explosion, I was among the one of the first up there to conduct disaster investigation and evaluation. Things at that time were much more complicated than they are now. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get moving. Hopefully, Miss Neck, Mr. Necker, won't meet the same fate that Edwin did. How can I get up there? Also, with the medicine work. But he said that as long as I touch it and those pictures tarnish, I need to think of a way. My goodness, was this also predicted? Oh my. Oh. I hope he didn't die. Whoa! Metal, many of them are like this. The explosion of the dark things to release great energy, which awaken our batch. Let the magic be oh, oh, how is Redmond here already? I thought we'd meet him. I'll uproot you! Silence! Looks like the arc can overloaded and that uh, the cooling mechanism is always damaged. Necker, what have you done here exactly? Uh, this was my fault. I didn't think that Necker would still be unsatisfied despite all the benefits I gave him. And benefits, wait a second. 
Why are you looking at me like that? Did he say anything to you? With a reminder of your encounter with Necker and his attitude towards various matters. Uh, sweet talk. Did he tell you guys then that it was people like him, it and his successors, who are reaping the benefits of this mess by stealing all kinds of information and selling it for a fortune? Mm, you guys are telling completely different stories. Pavan doesn't know who to believe anymore. If only he were here, then we could find out the truth. Paimon doesn't see him at all, though. If he's not here, where could he have gone? Maybe he's successfully escaped, maybe he's already maybe he escaped. I don't think he was killed at the very least. I'll explain why later. For now, though, we must stabilize this Archeon as quickly as we can. The suppression system is shut down, and the ore is presently in an excited state. That is why. That is what caused the explosion. And, uh, what caused the explosion? The, but this big rock doesn't look blown up at all. I don't understand. Alright, I agree that this is indeed quite difficult to understand. I'll explain in simpler terms for you. I guess I have no choice now. The experimental field generator, the Edwin Creator, is, is extremely powerful and can manipulate gravity. I, this I believe you know already. After the explosion, all the Archeon in the Institute shattered into fragments. Among these fragments, many of them could have turned into an excited state and triggered an explosion at any time. With the use of gravity fields, they were all restrained and gathered beneath our feet. That explosion just now was a small one caused by a small part of Archeon in the ruins that was affected by the energy flow. I guess you could call it a minor rehearsal of a third grade explosion. Uh, then this ring is a super huge ready to explode piece of Archeon. Uh, so you guys did all this not because you wanted to retrieve assets, but because you were scared this place would explode again. That's just one of the objectives of this operation. But right now our priority is to retrieve the condensing components that fell into the water and restart the suppression device. There is also Archeon inside th those components, and the intense energy flow has likely caused unpredictable changes to the water bodies. Forgive me, but I'm not capable of retrieving them and installing them back in on the inhibitor. Only you are capable of doing this, Inus, please, for the Court of Fontaine, and since it's urgent, I'll just get the job done first. But once this is all over, you better explain everything clearly. If it all goes well, I will tell everything I know. Dread, the energy flow is too strong here. I need to take more medicine. But the real reason for the explosion in the Fountain Research Institute are quite inquisitive, but now is not the time for a long conversation. Please go and retrieve the condensing components first.
transformed allo allograft condensed water body. Dangerous liquid has been modified somehow by the energy flowing from the condensation components. If you remain within such liquid for too long, you will accumulate turbulent energy flow. If you hit the accumulated limit, all your characters will draw. Um, isn't this more like um, radiation poison or something? Why will you draw? Better teleport back there and glide down again. Step on up. Solidify and shroud. Yeah. Oh. Can't see. Let's nip that in the butt. I will have order. Cue the spotlight! Over here! And shroud! I think I shouldn't have... Damage. Damage. Stop that. Damage. Oh, that continues from where I stopped. Yeah, that wasn't fair. No, no, no. Ah, damn. That was my bet. Just oh no, I want to go up. We don't usually have opportunities to just go like that. 
Ah, we can glide from that jump. Okay. those can I read those oh. I think there was a book somewhere that I found that could be reading uh, could be read underwater No, 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 it wasn't. Oh, that's just it. kind of thing half reminds me of Mario Galaxy I think it's too far away. Let's go back there again. Hmm? No, hang on. Let's... Where I was? I thought that one was the one I got. So that one was really part of this one. So I don't have to grab them, I can just shoot them. Damn, this is the last one. Now I don't know if I'll be I would be able to shoot the others.
Keep up. Back here, aren't you supposed to place those there? That Mr. Neck really knows how to create trouble for others, just like that he was of his at doing S house. What are you doing here? We really can catch a break here. Not only the, the explosion break off the condensing components of the device. But it also destroyed the self-sustaining system of the inhibitor. I'm about to remove the two backup pneumosia cores of the experimental field generator and use them to supply energy to the inhibitor. Luckily, this big fella can move, otherwise we wouldn't even have time to run. Uh, it's just not moving right now, you mean? Hey, knock on wood, don't say things like that. What if it actually starts moving? No worry, its main source of energy is the big chunk of Archeon behind it. Although the Archeon has transformed into an activated state, the explosion damaged all the energy supply lines, so it lost all of its energy supply. Huh? The Archeon kinetic core shouldn't have been right here, weren't it? Uh, hold on, you said that Omosa cores were a backup energy source. And isn't the activation condition for backup energy sources the complete loss of energy? Oh. oh. So, shoot. Gather. I will have order. Over here. Be sanctified. Sorry. right now. Bow your head. Okay, so maybe this might be weaker than the other one. Cue the spotlight. Stabilize and shroud. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Solidify. Silence! The tides beckon. One with the force. Stabilize. Bow your head. Ah. Much faster than the other one. It stopped. I knew it could do it. Quick, grab the, these two cars. Let's go hook up power. Just like before, you go connect the energy source and I'll adjust the device. Like before? I didn't do that before. Finally, it's stabilized. The Archon has transformed into an inert state. We and the Fontaine Research Institute are safe, for now, but it seems there are ever more secrets. As for the things you'd like to know, I'll, I will happy to answer. Man, there are many phrases in this last version that are missing one word. But not right now. Uh, what can I tell you now? Based on my hypothesis, is that Mr. Necker stole the Archeon Kinetic Core and triggered 
this small explosion. But before explaining too much detail, we should return to the institute and place the proper notation and partitions into this interlude. Or, at the very least, we need to stop these journalists from getting more deeply involved. The Archeon Kinetic Core is connected to too many other matters, and we must handle it in complete confidentiality. So, I would like you to cooperate with my work. Cooperate with your work? You, you're not saying to play along with your lies, are you? The scary something is, the more you should share it with others. Then we can all work together to deal with it faster. I have my doubts about that, you too. Uh, every matter has its own way of being dealt with, and in this instance, we must first call for silence. But I promise that I will never have you steer from your moral standards or demand that you have the same standard or behavior as we do. All that I ask for you is to remain quiet. You need not do anything else. You might be wondering why I would have to remain silent while telling you the truth. Uh, I'll just come out and say now. Your coming here is the only good fortune that our institute has had in nearly a hundred years. No matter what happens or what the cost, we must maintain good relations with you. I'm sure Mr. Charles will feel the same way. Is telling the truth also a cost as far as you're concerned? Is transparency something you would consider a cost as well? Yeah, you're just you're only just telling us the truth now, which you should have done ages ago. Just what sort of cost is that? Dear Sir Paimon, telling the truth honestly is in truth the greatest price one can pay. Let's go back. I ask sincerely for your understanding and to provide all necessary cooperation. Uh, I didn't really pay attention if this tower was like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, there is... Yeah, it probably was a bit different, because now we have that. Uh, the wreck of the Shattered Dreams added to the archive. Nice. Ah, it is here. I don't know, why do they need to leave that moving? Can they just get an static thing? Because it feels a bit weird when people say it's not moving, and it is moving. Miss Crony, everything we do in this we do is in the best interest of the people of the Court of Fontaine. So what you're saying is that the Fontaine Research Institute predicted the explosion just now? Are you kidding? You think I'm a questionnaire? You can hoodwink me that easily. I think Monster Chosio has expressed himself clearly enough. The situation is still under control, the status quo of the Court of Fontaine will not be adversely affected. Now, allow me to make a statement explaining the events that really occurred. That's enough, mister. I don't believe you for a second. Inus, you should have seen everything, right? I'm begging you, tell me the truth. Let's go pray for Raimondo for now. I'll tell you the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Uh, I don't know, is this one of those cases where one is just a continuation of the other, or... No. Because... I don't know, could I have different outcomes? But I don't really know the whole truth. I just know that Necker probably stole that thing, which was also a assumption from Raimondo. I'm all ears, my dear Inus. You tell Crony everything that has happened from beginning to end without omitting anything. About large Archeon and the experimental field generator. About Necker, who is missing and could be alive or dead. And about Raimondo's accusations of him having stolen the Archeon kinetic core. 
And of course, what Raimondo cares most about, the central laboratory ruins that could explode again at any time. I'm shocked, Mr. Choiso, were you aware of this? I, uh, of course, uh, my goodness. So the Fountain Research Institute doesn't even have the courage to face their own mistakes, just to cover up the fact that you couldn't deal with the Archeum problem. You did absolutely everything you could. What I find most surprising is that you even tried to trick Enos, who has been doing their utmost to help. You even wanted to see Enos' credibility to convince me that Necker was behind all of these crimes. Uh, Crony, did you really understand? I completely understand everything, dear Paimon. Thank you for dropping such subtle hints for me. Hints? Did we drop any hints? Of course, I know that what the Institute really wants to hide. And uh, the fact that the central laboratory ruins can explode again at any time. Or, to put it another way, Arkham is still a threat to the entire court of Fontaine. Ridiculous, a person's life isn't something you can throw away to help spread your own lies. I have already told you the truth, Miss Crony, please listen to a final word of advice. It takes only the slightest piece of effort to fixate on something, but it always takes more brain power to avert your gaze from it. Enough, I won't listen to another word you say, nor will I dwell on this. Your words, deeds, and all the facts concealed by the Institute will be reported on in the next issue of the Steambird. Good day, gentlemen. Miss Crony strides away from the Fontaine and Research Institute. Thank goodness, that's finally over with. Oh, and thank you too, Inus. Didn't do what was me too. I thought you would... I thought... You thought I would throw a tantrum at you and scold you for not doing what I said? My dear Inus, since the very beginning, your job has been has has only been to escort the researcher to the ruins for an expedition. What I asked you to do was above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, it would have been great if you kept your silence, as that would have saved us a lot of trouble in the future, yes. But it's not necessarily bad that you told her the truth. I believe that now that Miss Crony has gotten what she wants, she will not bother us again for the time being. She will tell the public everything. I believe she will do that. I hope the people of Fontaine will like the truth she publicizes. Well, as for us, we still have much to be concerned about. For example, the whereabouts of Mr. Necker and the Archeon Kinect Core. Uh, but shouldn't we first give you a few awards as well? Monster Chosso, would you do the honors? Uh, of course, that's right. I've already prepared everything. There's a certificate, trophy, and other forms of remuneration too. But before that, let's take a group photo together. The one we took before had an unseemly explosion in the background. Can I keep that on my wall? This new photo must be decent enough to be worthy of your status as honorary senior researcher. Joseph and Raimondo stay in the same positions before, and an institute researcher takes a photo of everyone. Perfect, look at us, a decent bunch of decent people. The ostentatious awards ceremony has finally ended. The scene just isn't explosive enough. Hey, stop it, no more exploding. Any more explosions and Paimon have nightmares. This certificate and trophy are for you. I'll post a copy of the search on the Institute Bulletin Board later. I hope our researchers will follow your example. On this path, we must strive to take the lead, overcome our obstacles and put 120 of our... Actually, I have more questions for you. Of course, I know what you want to ask. Even though your questions are all uh, extremely complicated, I'm willing to answer them. In any case, I believe we will have more opportunities to work together in the future on our senior researcher. Ah, the trophy. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? What do you, why do you think the Nakers is still alive? Considering the interests of the Institute and my personal point of view, I do in fact hope that both he and that Archeon Kinetic Core 
were obliterated in that explosion. That would mean that the last trace of Edwin Isinghout's influence here would be gone for good. But like I said earlier, that explosion was actually a small-scale Archeon Fragment resonance. Moreover, most of the Archeon Fragments in the explosion radius were or waste that have been fully depleted of energy. Logically speaking, even if a large Archeon chunk had gone out of control, causing the or waste to resonate, such a violent explosion should not have occurred. The only possibility is that someone specially collected Archeon that has not been depleted from other areas and piled them here. They then overloaded the large Archeon chunk on purpose to create an Archeon resonance so as to trigger an explosion to cover up certain traces that would have existed otherwise. Necker has always conducted research that with Edwin, and has a good understanding of the nature of Archeon. I wouldn't take him much, it wouldn't take him much effort to do something like this. Still, that's just my preliminary conjecture. As for what happens next, we'll need to wait for the research institute to conduct more detailed investigation. But why did he steal this core? This Archeon Kinetic Core is the most cutting-edge technology created by the Fontaine Research Institute to date. It wouldn't have be a bad idea to sell it or use it in the development of another project. But considering this level of academic expertise, I would rather he sells this Archeon Kinetic Core for a good price. I feel it's an honor, senior researcher, welcome. Can I help with anything, or have you come to help me with something instead? About the Institute Conference with the state. Everything is good, it's better than ever. Now that the Egomaniac Edwin is gone, the gang of thieves under him no longer exists either. More importantly, the Institute has a chance to be reborn. We can take off the shackles and burdens of the past and focus wholeheartedly on building our foundations once again. That is, to work hard for the well-being of all the people of the Court of Fontaine. I'm currently gathering some people and preparing a code of conduct for our organization. It will include principles of, on the use of fun, funds, research assess, asset management methods, and ethical standards that should be observed in scientific research and work. Our research-related behavior at our institute will have relevant rules and provisions. Now, oh, what a wonderful future. It's simply the best. Uh, do you and Raymond run things together? No, to be precise, we deal with affairs related to different areas. Raymond is responsible for getting scientific work and research back on track. I'm responsible for everything apart from that. For example, I'm responsible for arranging funds related to manpower, quarterly budget allocations, reaccommodating visitors, and getting rid of those journalists together with Raimondo. But our main goal remains the same, to rebuild Fontaine Research Institute and work hard for the well-being of all people to call Fontaine. Okay, I want to talk just Raimondo now. Um, about the Archeon Kinetic Core. Before I discuss this further, I believe Necker on or Miss Crony must have mentioned something to you already. They must have told you that my research projects and those of Edwin Ischinghouse had some overlap. But this is not entirely accurate. In fact, the Archeon Kinetic Core is the fruit of my joint research with him. In theory, if we constantly inject this Kinetic Core with enough energy, it can easily allow the experimental fuel generator to run at full power. After creating this core, we both realized a problem. We could barely find any way to keep injecting it with enough power, with enough energy to keep it at maximum power. Edwin and I tried powering it with a mixture of pneumosia and archeon energy, or by connecting large numbers of archeon ores in series to create a super power group, but neither worked. That was the situation until we found that giant archeon. Although it was always in an inert state, Edwin and I were certain that this ore had unprecedented purity. purity. We believed that with the right treatment, this ore could definitely output the large amount of energy we needed. But then Edwin and I had a disagreement. I offered up, I offered a, a up, I offered a up a more conversative proposal. 
but he wanted uh, to solve the problem rather more quickly. You should know everything else that happened after that. Uh, about Edwin, he was genius in the field of scientific research. It's no exaggeration, exaggeration to say that his talent was only second to our first director, Alan Guillotine. At the same time, he was an inhuman monster. <laughs> Nothing mattered to him other than his scientific research. Edwin was willing to do anything to, or pay any price to advance his research. He once told me the research results were the only remuneration he needed. He said, I don't need any remuneration. To me, research itself is the best reward. However, even though Edwin was a pure researcher, the people under him were all experts in furthering their own interests, that is. Some secretly sold research assets, some pleasurized research results, and some used his name to scam others. They ruined the Fontaine Research Institute's reputation little by little. Like I said before, as long as his research could advance, Edwin wouldn't do anything about this. In this way, they used Edwin's name to take all the institute resources for themselves. The institute could only continue to conduct detailed reviews on the personal and funding of Edwin's project's team. Uh, Mr. Churchill led many of these review operations personally. However, in the mouths of such people, these actions were construed as bureaucratic arrogance and distrust of researchers. More and more conflicts took place between us, and no one knew how to resolve them. But now, those conflicts no longer exist. About the current situation, huh, your question is not a technical one, but rather an administ administrative one. I think you should ask Mr. Chose about this instead. I did. Uh, why do you think Necker stole the car? You should remember me flipping through the pictures Miss Crony took in the ruins. There is one of Necker working in front of the suppression device. It's quite blurry, but I'm quite certain that the, his actions are definitely not part of any operational procedure. That doesn't really mean anything though. Maybe a thief came flying across from a nearby mountain and stole the car. Uh, that's most definitely impossible. The energy flow of the Archeon here is the best anti-thief test measure there is. No ordinary person can withstand it. Besides, the timing of the experimental fuel generator's activation is seems too perfect. It cannot be a mere coincidence. I have a preliminary conjecture. Necker, or should I say, the one who stole the core, likely removed the Archeon connected core early on, activating the backup energy source. However, no money Neomosia cores are relatively inefficient energy core sources and they have to keep up a continuous output of energy to reach the activation threshold of this contraption here. Hence, this person intentionally activated the large Archeon chunk, creating a modest but rather noticeable explosion. This way, when the Institute sends someone to investigate, they will be certain to fix the Archeon inhibitor first. By that time, they realize that they have to go to the experimental fuel generator to retrieve the backup energy supply. The generator will have already finished charge. From a technical perspective, such a modus operandi is highly probable, and those within the institute capable of doing this would only be Edwin, Mr. Necker, and myself. I doubt Edwin had the opportunity to do anything to that effect, which leaves two remaining suspects: myself and Mr. Necker. Wait. Maybe this was all you're doing then? Yeah, you said Mr. that Necker lied, but you've also been lying all along. Maybe this was all just part of your plan, and you tricked us into scorching you here so you could grab whatever it was you wanted. Your accusation is not entirely baseless. After this, I will also apply for us. I will also apply for and submit myself to the Institute Credibility Review. As far as I'm concerned, though, Mr. Necker is the one more likely to have committed this act. If this really was his doing, then he should be the one with the most to gain from it. Even if I am listed alongside him as a suspect, his chances of being convicted are certainly much, 
greater than my very well. Uh, those are on the bulletin boards, right? He said he would place a copy of my certificate on the bulletin board. But I... Here? No? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, there's something here. Book donation statistics to the Department of Statistics and Mathematics. Recently, our institute announced an initiative to implore our fellow citizens to donate books in order to rebuild the Bosso Library, formerly known as the Allen Guillotine Memorial Library, which was for unfortunately destroyed during the accident. Since the initiative announcement, the response in general donations we received from the entire community has far surpassed our expectations, providing us with large numbers of precious books, and the reconstruction plan is progressing smoothly as expected. After conducting a careful study, we have decided to entrust your department, the Department of Statistics and Mathematics, with organizing the book donation information using this form to facilitate contacting and expressing our gratitude to all donors in the future. Refer to the format below, donate a book, category, donor, donor's message. Uh, oh, uh, senior researcher Joseph Diamandinis. To Mr. Diamandinis, is your head royally screwed up or something? Why would you send this to us? The Department of Statistics and Mathematics isn't the department responsible for this kind of paperwork. Department Director Morris Jugler. Uh, the forms have been returned untouched in their original packaging. In order to avoid administrative issues, until we hear from Mr. Dowdins, our research assistants of our department are required to fill in the form according to the following form, which is Donate Book, uh, Department Supervisor Most Jugler. Donate Book, a Legend of Sword 6 volume hardcover set, Yay Publishing House, Literature Fiction. Renaud Montauban. Can we meet those people around town? This message. Didn't realize it wasn't a suspense thriller. Mistakenly purchased. Uh, please give me the, his address. I would like to personally correct his misunderstanding correct concerning literary aesthetics. Research <laughs> assistant to pray. Uh, criticism of pseudo Remoria history starting from the non existence of Remus. Literature, satire, and humor. Aretha Kappa does. A thank you gift from a patient who called it a must read and whispered something about it, exposing true history. I flipped through a few pages and found myself completely lost. Might be a relatively valuable story, history book or something. Archived according to the standard classification scheme, researches in bulletin. A Steinberg annual collection hardcover set with free cute Blurry Beast poster. Periodicals, news publication, Hermosa de Belnot, a free cop from the publisher. It should be helpful, right? Actually, according to standard classification scheme. Uh, wait, where's the poster? <laughs> Research is the pre. Uh, that on negotiation. Social science, factors affecting social behavior, Sean Foster. I bought it back from the fortress of Europeach. You really must take this, it's a rather useful book. Archived according to the standard classification scheme, flip through a bit because the cover seems interesting, but it doesn't seem to hold any actual value. But uh, I agree with you, our views, but. Dupre. A new way to search the dictionary, analysis and reflection based on natural philosophy and historical evolution, language, dialectology and historical linguistics. At the pressure, this paper has been reviewed. Please archive it according to the standard procedure in the language case section. And by Novelet's Neckerchief, Chosos funds research like this. Uh, the above remark is only a personal opinion and does not represent the views or position of this department. Mm, novel 
artificial course pain theory and the engineering interpretation of reverse gear drives all 10 volumes it connects science vibration theory Helen Mules consider this a token of gratitude for the Fountain Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering's continuous help and contributions. Please accept these books for your collection. Archive according to the standard qualification. Wait, someone actually donated normal books? Mm -mm. Hey, what's that? Oh, they have a Fountain machine. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> oh, the font even has a logo. Cool. All right. Uh, that was plenty. Let's just try to get one wisely. Hey, no. Nothing here. Nothing here. All right. Uh, then I'm out. Next?